What is going on, guys? Today, we are looking at another striker that isn't a striker. It is 97 five-star, five-star Marcelo. If you're tired of... If you're tired of coming up against teams that want to rip your hair out every single day, make sure you check u7buy.com for the most reliable and cheapest coins on the market. And at checkout, make sure you hit that JT11 for 5% off your order, and hopefully, you have a good day. So if we do go into Marcelo, he is currently 6 million coins pretty much across all consoles. He's 6 on the Xbox, 6.5 on the PS, and 6.3 on the PC. And honestly, what a card this looks like. I think most definitely if you're not putting him as a striker, you are definitely looking at that sort of centre mid or something because this guy's stats are incredible. He's a high-low with a 5.9. He is Five star, five star out. I don't even know what he was before. He was a 5-4, so pretty good in himself. He did get a captain's card that made it as a 5-5. That's still coming in at a million coins. So that tells me this card is going to be worth a pretty penny. He's definitely going to be probably over that 2 mil mark, most definitely, just for the fact that he is 5-5 in a position that he can be striker, center forward, cam, CM, or DM. In terms of what we've got on him then, he's got flair, he's got outside of the foot, and he's got team player, and the stats across the board are very, very impressive. The chemistry style that people are going for is either an anchor or a hawk. An anchor would definitely solidify him as either a DM or a CM as well because it gives you that 99 pace 97 defending and 95 physical where a hawk would actually give him 99 pace 93 physical and 97 shooting turning him into a 97 cam 98 left wing or right wing or a 96 striker personally for me just for the the kind of balance side of stuff i'd be looking at that anchor because i think most definitely he would be more of a cm dm sort of car, uh, card but obviously, we're going to be playing him as a striker in this review because that is the position we want to see him. Ramos managed to put up two goals in the numbers. I want to see what this guy can do. So without further ado, let's jump into Marcelo and see if he's worth six mil or at least two mil. Into Marcelo, gets bullied off the ball, but he wins the foul. Already, I already can see what Marcelo can do. Judging from what we've seen from Alfonso Davis, what we've seen from Ramos, I'm very excited to see what Marcelo can do when he actually gets in front. Definitely looks like he should be a solid player on the board. It's the skills as well. What kind of Alfonso Davis was was lacking is maybe a bit more of that. It's more of the body type and how he dribbles. Whereas Marcelo for me has already been relatively good on that dribble. So I naturally expect him to be able to step up to that sort of position as well. Especially with the added bonus of all of his stats being left footed as well. Oh, it's beautiful. It's ah, oh, it just gets bodied from Bellerin though. But he's just naturally very, very good on the ball. Marcelo sitting in the middle, goes for the spin. Doesn't manage to get around the player. You can definitely see the glimpses of how uh, how good Marcelo can be up front. Gets a little pass. His dribbling style is very nice, very much like a winger, and I think that's kind of why he's always been very good with this position change. Just naturally, his body type adapts to pretty much most positions finds him through can we get the touch get the inside finds the right foot and he's just bundled away before he manages to get that shot off. oh he's got one defender on him diaz to chase can we find little flick inside? he's just being bullied every single time it's naturally just a very good defensive player to be honest he's managing to read every single movement so far but as soon as we get him through I, I have no kind of qualms to say that he's going to uh miss out and how on sterling hasn't missed uh, how he's not scored that just judging from the small amount of gameplay we have seen from marcelo i definitely say wing wise he looks absolutely fit for the role just looking for him on the inside here can we find it? It's got to be the chance of Marcelo. Like I said, as soon as he got that one chance, that's going to be his goal. Oh, is he on? Ah, oh, he's just off. That's got to be literal inches. It's a good little play from Marcelo. We're trying to find through if we can. Lovely. little bit of dribbling. That's what you want to see from him. But Sion Chu, he's read it all day long. This guy's defending is definitely not to be messed with. He seems like he knows what he's doing. Finds him in. Keepers off his line. Has he managed to? That is stunning. Marcelo finds an inch and he absolutely takes it. Oh, it's a double turn. Flicks it. Marcelo with the hattie. Beautiful. Center the defender wrong way. And he manages to get that finesse. 
to get that hat trick. You cannot argue with this guy's skill. There it is. Pulled back and he goes for the, the skill goal. But unfortunately, it's just a little bit too much flair. Marcelo from distance. Four gets it to four. And it's another absolutely corker of a goal. Going into Marcelo's overall review then, he has dropped down a hell of a lot of coins, going for now 3.9, 5.3, and 4.7, depending on which console you're on. And to be honest, I, I could see him still being worth a few mil, mainly the 5-star, five 5-star, five left-footed, 5-9. He's got all attributes for a hell of a lot of positions. You want that anchor on him, and genuinely, the lowest stat on this card is 94 then it's 95, and literally then, you're looking at the top end. So the card is absolutely stacked with stats. And to be honest, you could play him pretty much anywhere. I personally think the wing would actually be a really nice position for him. You could argue Cam. I feel like he's definitely got the body type. He's got the skills for it, and even the weak foot is very nice. So you could put him out on the wing or back in the center. I could see a lot of people playing him as a DM, maybe even a box-to-box -box at a certain point. If you've not got no wingers, that, again, would be a nice, narrow formation for him. And I think, naturally, he's just very good on the game. We've had many, many cards from Marcelo from the very, very start all the way to the end. He's always had a very nice kind of end card. I think this is actually his most uh, kind of highest rated, for instance, sort of card we've ever seen from him. So it's a nice send off for him. I know a lot of people wanted an end of era Marcelo, but I would personally take this one any day. I think in general for the positions you could put him in, I think he's a 10 out of 10. He's a 5-5. Brazilian links, Real Madrid links, there is a lot of players that will play off him, and I think he will be worth every penny when he hits his minimum price. I could probably see him, I'd like to think anywhere between a mil and two mil, but I think I could also see him between two and three mil as well. All depends on the drop weight of him, he is definitely worth trying to, to either pack or even get into your team at some point. But overall for me, he's a 10 out of 10. 100% way to uh, to go into a team, and I'm hoping we do manage to pack him to get him into our main team, hopefully during the upgrade times. So let me know down below if you would like Marcelo in your team. Make sure you do like and subscribe on this video, and I'll catch you all for the next one. Paces.